My plan wasn't to turn wrenches today. I pulled the subcompact tractor out and put the blade on it and was gonna go down the driveway and try and level some spots out. Well, it had different plans. If you couldn't tell from the video, it was running on three of the four cylinders. So uh, I think we have a problem in the ignition system. This is kind of a cool little tractor. I've had it for a couple of years. It's uh, Japanese. It's a Sato Bison. Got a little one liter gasoline engine. I believe it's actually a Mazda, but it's not a copy of anything. It's its own machine and it's been a pretty reliable little guy. We'll pop the hood and for the ignition system, we're gonna take a look at the distributor cap, the rotor bug. This does have points and a condenser, which uh, probably not a lot of people know how to mess with that stuff anymore. Fortunately, my grandpa has trained me on that. So we're gonna get all this stuff taken apart and see what we have. Oh wow, man, yeah, that's all corroded up in there. Looks like the cap's got some cracks on it. Rotor's not in the best shape either, if you can see that. And there are our points. Some people might know this, others might not. I'll do my best to explain this. Luckily, I have a grandpa who knows pretty well everything and he's trained me on some of this old school stuff. So back before electronic ignition, everything had points and condenser. So your condenser is right there. Here's your ignition points. There's a, a little arm here that rides and there's four lobes in your low spots. You, you touch in your high spots, there's a gap that determines your ignition timing this also has what's called a vacuum advance right here so depending on how much vacuum is drawn on your intake that can advance your timing pretty cool stuff back in the day that was some cutting edge technology so cool to put hands on it again uh, as i said rotor seen better days cap pickups are all kind of corroded so I'm gonna make a few phone calls, see if we can locate some parts. Hopefully we can, we can get this thing running in a little bit better form than it was this morning and get some work done. We're able to get points, condenser, cap, and rotor for the tractor all from Napa. So we're gonna get those thrown on there and see if this thing will fire off. I'm a little bit frustrated right now. I got all the new ignition parts put in. I hit the key, the tractor wouldn't fire. I checked spark, I don't have spark. So I started taking everything back apart and one by one going back with the old rotor, the old cap, nothing. And I leaned over and rested my arm on the ignition coil and it was really, really hot. So I got to looking and the negative wire that comes down over here to this lug on the side, it comes from, it, it's tied in with the condenser wire. Well, the condenser is touching off of this hose clamp, which is touching off the block. So I was essentially grounding the coil out. I checked the coil. I have 12 volts coming in with the key on, which is good, but I got nothing coming out or very little. I think it's like 0.7 volts. Basically, I have an open coil now. I ruined it. Kind of a bummer, but I called CarQuest uptown. They have a new one. I'm going to run up there, grab it, throw it on here, put my new stuff back together, and then hit the key and see what happens. I got my coil picked up yesterday, and then when I got home, I ended up getting sidetracked. So I'm back out here. I got the coil installed. All the new ignition parts are on. You can see the new coil. We're gonna hit the key on this thing and see what happens. To jump on this and do a little bit of blading try and get the driveway back and get ready for some more rock and then we'll jump back in here and work on this air compressor that i picked up on my way home from work today so i 
got about as much grading done as I want to. Kind of trying to focus on my lane road down that way. The rest of the stuff up here, it's kind of choppy. <clears throat> my buddy has a skid loader. He's going to let me borrow it. I'm going to get a couple extra loads of rock and kind of try and even this stuff out. But we're done messing with the tractor. I'm pretty happy with how it's running overall. I think the valve still need adjusted, but we'll, we'll get to that another day. It's working good enough for what I need it for right now. We're going to talk about this air compressor that I just bought. I found this guy on Facebook Marketplace today. There's the ad. I gave $50 for it, gladly. Uh, these things can be pretty expensive. This appears to be an off-brand, but it's a twin-cylinder compressor. It's got what appears to be like a knockoff of a Honda engine on it. So it's, uh, it says right there, five and a half horsepower. If nothing else, if everything's shot, great motor for a go-kart. So the guy told me it's just been sitting for a couple of years. We're gonna pull the tank off, uh, probably all gelled up, and pull the carburetor off, see if we can get this thing running tonight. All right, this is why I hate ethanol gas. That was at the strainer in the top. You can see how it's just full of crud, and if you look down the tank, it's coated. So, <clears throat> lots of cleaning to do here. Get the carburetor off, clean it, tank off, clean it, throw it all together, pull it, it'll run. Okay, I got the carburetor pulled off, the tank pulled off, the tank is just coated with crud. But the more I got looking at this engine, I realized it was a exact copy of the Honda GX200, which I have one of on this pressure washer and one of on my other pressure washer. So rather than try and clean this up and honestly even clean the carburetor, I'm just going to pull parts off this power washer, which I know works. Throw them on here, see if it fires off. If it does, I'll just order replacements and throw them on there. Call it good to go. I'm gonna give it a little bit of encouragement here. Overall, very happy with how the uh, air compressor runs, especially for a $50 buy and having parts here to throw on it. Sometimes you get lucky, but that, that doesn't always happen with me. Uh, definitely appreciate it when it does. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to throw us a thumbs up. I know this jumped around a little bit more than my videos typically do, so throw some feedback in the comments on that. Also, check me out on Instagram. It's at fixitfarm. I post some behind the scenes stuff there, smaller projects I typically wouldn't make videos on. So check us out on there, and we'll catch you on the next video.